to this uh, webinar and uh, yeah. that is co-organized uh, uh, with the Lisbon Council um, because it focuses on, on a topic that, uh, uh, it, it, which is co-creation. And uh, if, we, if we think about the concept, the concept itself is, is quite simple, you know, it's, it's really to, yeah. um, to involve uh, citizens from the start, so in the uh, thinking phase, in co-design, and then in the implementation of, the, um, of public services together with, with the government. Um, but the how maybe is actually the, the more complex part, you know, the, the, yes. the, the process on, on how we actually implement this, how we make it uh, uh, concrete. So how do we involve the citizens? How do we design together? How we use the data that are available? Which kind of data? So I think that, um, yeah, today it's, it's a good opportunity for, for all of us to explore more what cities are uh, are doing thanks to the Coval uh, project. So I will uh, give the floor to um, to our to to, the, to our speaker. But uh, just before starting, uh, two housekeeping issues, if you like, the webinar is recorded, so we will send uh, the the link to all of you right after the um, the webinar finished. And then uh, we have dedicated uh, uh, about 30 minutes at the end for questions and answers, but uh, you are already very welcome to um, type your questions and to send us your questions uh, uh, through the chat. Um, and so we can collect them during the, the presentation and then be ready to, to reply to you. So I give now the floor to Francesco Muretto, Thank you very much. director at the Lisbon Council. Uh, so please tell us a bit more about the Lisbon Council first, and then yes. maybe the Coval as well. The results. Thank you, thank you, Federica. Uh, thank you, Paola. Uh, so uh, my name is Francesco Muredo, and uh, I am director of the Lisbon Council. The Lisbon Council is a think tank that was uh, established to support the Lisbon Agenda, and uh, it it has been existing for 16 uh, years now. And uh, the Lisbon Council supports uh, uh, the European Commission uh, in several projects, uh, tenders, uh, and Horizon 2020 projects, which are uh, uh, basically dealing with uh, transformation of public sector, uh, digital transformation of public administration, and uh, uh, transformation of services in the sense of uh, 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 making the services more uh, user-centric and more co-created. So, uh, Lisbon Council at the moment uh, is, uh, is involved in the project COVAL. Uh, COVAL is a Horizon 2020 project which uh, will finish uh, in October of this year. And the Lisbon Council is responsible for uh, uh, the policy impact of this, uh, of this project. Uh, basically, uh, what we do is to produce uh, policy briefs, uh, high level, uh, high level uh, uh, roundtables and summits. And uh, also we established uh, a dashboard, the COVAL dashboard, which is basically a tracking, a monitoring and uh, a benchmarking uh, platform that uh, allows uh, to track uh, uh, digital transformation and co-creation in public administrations, both at member states and uh, at uh, local level. So um, the, the COVAL project is coordinated by Athens Technology Center. Uh, which is a uh, software house uh, from Greece, and uh, it has uh, 12 partners, uh, among which universities, uh, uh, or uh, we have uh, companies like PricewaterhouseCoopers, and we have think tanks like the Lisbon Council. Um, we will um, produce then a demo of the dashboard afterwards, but first some words about Coval. So basically, uh, the idea of COVAL is to uh, define uh, what is uh, uh, value co-creation in public services. In this regard, uh, COVAL uh, aims to measure and monitor uh, the transformative innovation in the public sector and uh, to investigate the value co-creation in four main domains. One is digital transformation. Uh, another one is service design. Uh, the third one is uh, innovation and living labs. And the final one is a, a, a third public, private, third sector innovation networks in public administration. So uh, the idea um, of COVAL is to provide a theoretical framework that helps uh, uh, researchers and practitioners, policymakers to understand 
uh, the value appropriation process, uh, new evidence and metrics uh, that uh, will allow to monitor and to define and benchmark public administration transformation and uh, po policy recommendations. Uh, mm. For instance, we, uh, we share uh, best practices, uh, we share policy recommendations uh, aimed to, uh, to boost and to, uh, uh, to increase the take up of uh, digital services and aim to uh, increase the co-creation of public services. So, um, I will speak uh, briefly about uh, the, uh, the tracker, but uh, uh, showing basically how it works. Okay, so uh, this is the uh, COVAL uh, dashboard. So um, the dashboard uh, has uh, um, so the dashboard has uh, two main pages. One is the country views. One is the municipality view. How does it work? Basically, the dashboard is built uh, on a set of indicators. Uh, these indicators uh, are uh, belong to four, five main. Uh, uh, five main dimension. So we have uh, the policy dimension, interoperability reuse dimension. Um, for example, policy dimension uh, considers uh, to what extent uh, uh, the digital plan of a nation, for instance, is aligned with the European interoperability framework, and to what extent uh, the uh, national digital plan mm. uh, embeds uh, the dimension of co-creation, so if co-creation is, uh, is quoted or not. The interoperability uh, uh, dimension deals with uh, the use of and availability of base registry, the provision of uh, APIs, uh, the take up of APIs. For instance, we have uh, indicators on how many are the users of APIs and uh, how many are the calls per month. Um, if there are centralized service modules uh, which are provided to local authorities, and the, uh, uh, the take up of this uh, of these uh, uh, services. In fact, what is uh, really innovative uh, in uh, in our uh, in our dashboard, but actually in uh, in the paradigm according to which uh, Lisbon Council works, is that uh, um, digital services are not only um, looked and considered from the point of view of the supply, but what is very important is the take up of digital services. And in fact, in all our uh, activities, uh, whether in Horizon 2020 or in uh, um, projects and direct consultancy to, uh, to the European Commission and member states, I really point out that the most important thing that is uh, uh, oftentimes neglected is really the study of the take up of the services. Mm -hmm. Then we have the, uh, the dimension of collaboration. So to what extent service co-design is used, um, what, what is the percentage of digital transaction, uh, the use of uh, uh, EIDAS and Rust services, uh, how many co-creation exercises are used, are implemented, and so on and so forth. Then the dimension of, of skills, to what extent the public administration recruits skills from outside, and to what extent the public administration trains the employees. And finally, the monitoring, uh, to what extent uh, uh, digital government uh, is monitored uh, through, through use of KPIs, uh, to what extent uh, uh, KPIs on uptake uh, of the online services are used, and to what extent KPIs on users' co-creation of public services are used. So this is the example for uh, the national, uh, for the national um, member states. Uh, we can see that uh, we have data for most of the member states, and uh, uh, according to, to the legend, uh, we use uh, a kind of uh, uh, semaphoric uh, legend mm -hmm. in the sense that uh, when uh, um, an indicator is fulfilled or uh, when a threshold is, uh, is overcome, the indicator is green. When you don't have data, the indicator is, uh, is gray. And when the indicator is not fulfilled, then um, the, uh, in, let's say the, the legend is uh, red. For instance, if a digital plan, in this case Belgium, does not make a direct mention of co-creation, then the indicator would be red. So this is basically the, the situation, as we can see, for member states. We have most of the data 
or anyway, we are collecting most of the data, and the data are collected uh, through uh, desk research by, uh, uh, by the consortium, but also by uh, representatives of the public administrations, which provide the data um, just as normal Excel files, or they use, uh, uh, they, we provide them with a login so that they can, uh, they can provide the data themselves. For what concerns the municipality view, we have, uh, let's see, so we basically we are piloting now the, the dashboard. And in fact, uh, I, I really, uh, I really ask you and, and urge you to, to provide you, to provide us with the data from your city in order to be able to do a, a benchmarking. In fact, uh, the, the benefit for uh, representatives from the cities to provide the data are really that they will be able from one uh, uh, hand to display uh, the achievements in, in terms of co-creation and uh, digital transformation of their city. On the other hand, they will have an idea of what the others are doing. So this is very important. And then we can see that uh, for, uh, um, for what concerns uh, uh, the cities, the, uh, let's say the uh, indicators are roughly the same and the dimension are, are roughly the same. Uh, we uh, can see that uh, we have uh, very good data and very good results, uh, for instance, for Milan and for Amsterdam, but also for, for Turin, while uh, uh, for uh, Madrid, the situation is, is a little bit more problematic, and for Athens and, and Paris, uh, we still need, uh, we still need uh, more data. So let's see how do we, uh, do we collect the, the data, how do we input the data. So um, uh, it's possible to input the data by using uh, this, uh, this summary. So each country can have a summary and uh, we can input the data uh, simply by, uh, with the, by using this, uh, this mechanisms. So for instance, do you have a national digital plan aligned with the European interoperability framework? You can mm -hmm. say yes or no. But what is very important and is uh, something that uh, is really uh, reported in the project is that when inputting the data, and when inputting the, the answer, uh, one uh, needs also to input the evidence. So uh, here it's very, it's very useful because here we can collect the best practices. Here we can see uh, which are the, uh, the documents that are uh, basically uh, proving that uh, a country is uh, fulfilling an indicator. And, uh, and so this is very important because it allows us to, uh, to provide also a, a very deep uh, analysis of each country. For instance, uh, a number of APIs provided by public administration, uh, 14 in case of Greece, and then we have uh, uh, the link to uh, basically the, the, uh, the documents that, uh, that explain which are these uh, APIs or number of third parties also in, the, in, uh, in this case. So uh, it's very important to, to provide this kind of, uh, uh, this kind of um, evidence uh, that uh, uh, allows us to uh, also to, uh, to implement uh, a very, um, very in-depth analysis. And this is also for the municipalities. So uh, in this kind of, uh, uh, okay, here for Athens, as I said, we don't have uh, yet data. We are collecting the data uh, by contacting the, the city representatives, but uh, uh, the idea is that we will uh, we will uh, fill all of these uh, dimensions uh, by uh, by the end of the project, uh, and then we will uh, we will provide um, we will provide our our analysis. So this is uh, uh, basically uh, the, the status of the dashboard. Let's see a little bit more in detail. The indicators. Okay. So um, basically, uh, so as we as we have uh, seen, so the indicators are uh, basically um, structured into in a two-level hierarchy. So five dimension and 21 indicators. So the policy dimension specifically considers the participation to international networks initiatives. Interoperability considers the exchange of data knowledge between ICT systems. Collaboration involves the, uh, 
it, it includes the involvement of users in the creation and design of services, skills, it means acquisition of skills by public administration. Um, a typical example is the, the, the city of Milan that has acquired uh, managers from, uh, from very important multinationals. Uh, finally, we have monitoning. Uh, um, so, the, um, basically, to what extent the, uh, the activity uh, of a country or a municipality is monitored by using APIs, especially on take-up. The indicators have been validated, apart from the, from the uh, COVAL consortium, also by the city of Milan, the Italian digital team, and the uh, director general of uh, Egypt um, of the European Court. So here in the presentation, you will find uh, an explanation of the indicators uh, uh, very precise, also taking into account which kind of data are uh, type of data are used and uh, the, the level uh, uh, of indicators, if it's local, uh, central or, uh, or both. And uh, uh, we also provide uh, indicators that are percentage. Uh, so that the uh, the user will input uh, will input the, the the percentage straight uh, in the in the in our uh, in our dashboard. Uh, regarding the uh, let's say the, the color code, as we said, it's positive uh, green when an indicator is fulfilled. Neutral is yellow. Negative is red. And uh, we have uh, uh, some threshold, for instance, what concerns the, the APIs developed by local authorities. According to the number uh, that are developed, uh, we, can, uh, we can have uh, a different color of the, of the indicator. So this is basically what I, what I showed you uh, in, the, in the demo. And this is uh, the, the login page for stakeholders. Uh, so, uh, if uh, you want to import the data uh, of your citizen, we really urge you, uh, because it, I mean it's it's useful for us, but also useful for you, as I as I as I already mentioned, in order to uh, uh, display the achievement of your of your city. Uh, then uh, we can provide you with uh, uh, um, a login and, um, and an account, uh, so that you can enter the the data yourself, and then. Uh, uh, um, after a, a very simple validation by the consortium, the data will be will be displayed. So this is the data entry form that I showed you before. That is very that is very that is very um, simple to use. And uh, finally, I, I'd like to to take the uh, uh, to, to take the, uh, the possibility to present uh, a, um, a set of events that we are implementing in. Uh, in collaboration with uh, uh, EuroCities at the Digital City Summit, so uh, at the Milano Digital Week. Uh, we are having events uh, on Friday 13th of March 2020, um, basically the whole day from 11 to, um, to uh, 4.30 in the afternoon at Triennale in Milano. And uh, uh, basically uh, the idea of these uh, events uh, is to focus uh, on uh, uh, what mo the most progressive cities are doing in terms of co-creation, design thinking, and uh, uh, interoperability. And uh, we are going to have uh, a very high level speakers like Roberta Cocco, uh, who is the uh, uh, Councillor of Digital Transformation Cities and Services Municipality of Milan, Emanuele Baldacci, Director uh, uh, in the Digital Services of uh, Digit of the European Commission, uh, Fabrizio Benini, Head of Unit, uh, at the European Commission, Anna Goss, who is the service design lead of the UK government digital services. And uh, um, the speakers, uh, we also include the chief innovation officer of the Barcelona City Council and Novast Amsterdam, and also uh, Federica Bordello, uh, policy advisor of Euro Cities. Uh, there will be uh, basically three main, uh, three main uh, parts in the event. So we are going to, uh, to do a first round table on the state of co-creation in which uh, we speak about which are the municipal reforms uh, towards co-creation. Then we are going to uh, um, display uh, interoperability uh, solutions at city level under the form of case studies. And finally, we are going to present a cover policy brief uh, co-authored by uh, David Osimo, Director of Research uh, at the Lisbon Council, myself, 
and uh, Antonia Rundel, a professor at uh, United Nations University, uh, Maastricht. Uh, and the, uh, the policy brief is uh, the state of co creation, which is based on the data that are present in the, in the dashboard, tracking co creation in, in the member states, but also on a, a very big survey on uh, 1000 public administration officials uh, in, six, uh, in six countries. Um, so in the presentation that we will send after, uh, after uh, uh, the end of the webinar, you will find uh, all the information in order to register and to uh, hopefully attend the, uh, the event. Okay, thank you so much. Um, Francesca, I think it was a, a very clear overview of what uh, uh, the project has, uh, has done, and I think it's actually a, a great opportunity for our members to yes. contribute um, yes. to, to the dashboard, uh, because as you said, I think uh, uh, it's, it's an opportunity for cities, of course, to show uh, what, uh, what they are doing, what is, uh, uh, and, and to evaluate also then the, their performances. Um, so it's, uh, I think it's a, it's a great opportunity. Uh, and then to see also at European level, you know, what is the, 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 the current situation, the trends, and etc. You, you, I'm sure that, that you know that the, the Commission is working also on uh, um, uh, DAISY local, towards a DAISY local. Yes. So this, uh, you know, the, the DAISY is it's this digital economic index uh, uh, that at the moment is uh, only at national level, but uh, uh, together with the Committee of the Regions and a number of other stakeholders and partners, uh, also Eurocities is contributing uh, to the development of this DAISY local. The idea is really to measure more what uh, are the performances in terms of uh, um, using of, of digital in, in, uh, in cities. Um, so uh, I think that, of course, this uh, this dashboard and the results of, of all this project can help uh, a lot in in uh, also as as part informing the the different yes. indicators. Um, are you collaborating uh, already with? Uh, uh, no, no, we we are not yet collaborating with uh, with the local, but uh, basically the, our dashboard goes in the same direction. Yeah, because we are really uh, developing uh, indicators uh, also at uh, municipal level, so local level. But what is very interesting uh, is that uh, we collaborate a lot with the Italian digital team. Yeah. And the Italian digital team has understood uh, since the beginning uh, the, the local dimension. In fact, uh, the Italian digital team acts uh, uh, um, almost like a, a consultancy team that goes to the public administrations at local level and helps them uh, and to transform uh, uh, digitally their services and uh, to, to share their data and uh, to, um, yeah, basically to, to, to evolve and to make uh, uh, services more user centric. Mm. Perfect. Do we have questions we collected? Have questions, yes. Uh, one from Kim Lanton. She says, Hi, how are the citizens incorporated in this dashboard? How do they work with the cities to follow and engage? What can we change? What kind of APIs are used and what standards are being used? Okay, um, basically uh, citizens uh, um, are not directly involved in the dashboard because the data from the dashboard mm -hmm. are uh, supported by, by the city. For what concerns the, the APIs, uh, it depends on the city. There are cities that uh, uh, use uh, any kind of APIs uh, to uh, basically to provide uh, data that can be reused by the citizens. Uh, APIs uh, that uh, allow the citizens to use uh, their public services from from outside. So, from uh, yeah, and uh, regarding uh, uh, the standards, beware. Uh, it depends on, uh, to my to my knowledge, uh, um, there are cities that use beware, but it's an internal matter. It doesn't concern with uh, with uh, our uh, dashboard. And so far, uh, we have not uh, had reports. From cities uh, using firmware, but uh, I'm, I know firmware, and I'm sure that there are cities that uh, that use them. Yeah. 
Yeah, so this is more like just a color. Yeah. Yeah, in fact, Fabrizio Benini will come to, to Milan. And she's the head of DESI. And it's clear that our collaboration with, with Fabrizio Benini shows that uh, really our uh, our dashboard uh, goes to towards the direction of developing uh, DAISY at local level. Perfect. Okay, maybe we can open the, the floor for those that maybe have a question uh, now to, to ask. Hmm. Um, is there anyone who wants um, you want to, to step in? We can, we will unmute you now, so you're actually able to speak. Hey, you're muted now. If you wish to, we're muted ourselves. Huh. If you wish to ask a question now or like have any, yeah, want to reaction. debate about something or reaction. Yeah, this, um, Oz, uh, David Ozimo is asking uh, the floor. Hi. Can you hear me? Yes. Hi, uh, thanks for this. I just wanted to point out regarding the DAISY Local that, of course, we have to work together with the initiatives that are in place, but it's a very complex process. And I think if cities are really interested in having a DAISY Local, they should start sharing data and building them themselves. And this is what we're trying to do. Of course, we need a, a, a structured process that builds robust indicators, and we are working on that. But in the short term, we need to start with uh, sharing the data that we already gather. And the peculiarity of the dashboard is that not only it uses <coughs> the, input, <coughs> excuse me, the input of cities, but also it leverages data that are <coughs> already there, such as the number of transactions, so data that you don't have to do a survey to take part in the dashboard. You can use the data that you already, that are generated directly by your digital services. And this is our point. Thanks. Thank you, David. Any more comments, reaction? You can just indicate it in the chat um, if you wish to intervene. I'll make sure the sound works. I think um, maybe Christopher Glauser would like to say something. <laughs> Maybe, maybe I take the opportunity because I was thinking if um, 
there will be then a kind of an improved uh, version afterwards if you already thought about the future, I mean, of this uh, uh, of this dashboard, because I was seeing, I was looking at, uh, at some indicators and uh, um, you were uh, the, you were asking how many APIs were sent by the national uh, authorities, and uh, and then you provide a number. But it would be actually good to to know maybe out of how many that they have, you know, to go more in depth also in uh, into yes, the yes. results. Um, so to see maybe to collect a first round, uh, if you like, a first wave of of results. But maybe not only to um, enlarge, if you like, the community, but also analyze even more than the results. That I think it's a long exercise. I mean, uh, those who are working with indicators, they know that uh, there are a lot of variability, a lot of uh, yes. There is always the trade-off uh, mm. between uh, uh, to what extent an indicator and how much an indicator is precise, yeah, exactly. and uh, how easy it is to find the data of an indicator. But yes, the, the dashboard is uh, is an ongoing uh, uh, is an ongoing framework, and then uh, we have been uh, um, adding uh, and refining indicators for for one year now, and uh, until the end of the project, we will uh, uh, keep working on uh, the dashboard in order to make it, uh, uh, let's say, as uh, as more usable as possible and as comprehensive as possible. But uh, uh, there are also uh, several uh, several ideas for further projects uh, that we are exploring, and, and mm -hmm. as you know, in fact, mm -hmm. we are uh, we are preparing a proposal with Eurocities proposal called User Centric Cities uh, that will be submitted um, on the 12th of March to the Horizon 2020 program. And uh, uh, this uh, this project, uh, if uh, if uh, awarded, uh, will allow to uh, to develop uh, a further version of our monitoring system, um, and more precise, more comprehensive, and uh, uh, including uh, a higher number of uh, of uh, specialist cities. Mm -hmm. Asa Tarsen is asking if you could please answer the questions from Kim Lanto in written. But they were the ones we went over before. I don't know if you wish to expand further. Uh, they were the ones that had to do with citizen engagement. I will. Uh, I will. Uh... Yes, there were any questions. Okay, I will provide uh, an answer in written to Kim Lanto. Okay, perfect. And Asa. Okay, perfect. I, I, we have our your contacts, and uh, I will uh, follow up with a uh, more precise question uh, answer. Perfect. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Um, any other question or reaction? Christopher says, I think collecting KPIs is perfect, and I hope many cities are joining in, but cities are trying to FII, DYI, I think, no? first their own deficits in terms of technology and content before they are willing to share their experience, I think. To fix first their own deficits in terms of technology. Yeah, of course. Uh, there are there are several degrees of uh, uh, of um, yeah. There are cities that uh, are already have transformed their services and that uh, already are sharing their experience and their, their data, like uh, like Milan or uh, or Turin, but other cities that are, are lacking. Uh, but uh, clearly, uh, uh, what uh, uh, what we want the cities to show is that they are in the process of improving their, their public services, and I think that uh, uh, this is useful also for the cities. Okay, if there are no further questions. Mm. I think we we can close the session. Um, as said, the the webinar uh, has been recorded, so we will send you the link um, afterwards with also some uh, some kind of uh, 
minutes uh, and um, so and, and all the links of course and and the presentation um i i offer you i mean i i actually uh, push you to uh, to join uh, the the event in uh, uh, in Milan, the Digital City Summit, uh, to also have a discussion with uh, with politicians and with other stakeholders and representatives in uh, in uh, policy in Milan makers and than policy than makers. Than yes, and um, I thank you, Francesco, for yes, uh, for thank this, you, and thank, thank you, you all. Cities. For participating and uh, hope uh, well. If you if you want more information, of course you can contact uh, uh, Francesco or yes. or myself. Uh, and I hope that more cities uh, will uh, uh, will be interested and uh, and actually willing to to participate and to provide uh, data on uh, on this on the dashboard. Of course, uh, thank you very much for your attention and uh, let's follow up. <laughs> Indeed. Bye. Bye bye.